there are some dreams shut up in you. Like fire, you're going to feel your destiny calling out. May not have happened the first time. The loan didn't go through. You didn't get chosen for the part. The medical report wasn't good. That's okay. It's still in you. This is your time. This is your moment. Shake off the doubt. Shake off the negativity. You're at the right place. You're at the right time. Now all you've got to do is get in the right frame of mind. Lord, I believe this is my year to get healthy and whole. This is my year to meet the people of my dreams. This is my year to go further in my career, to step into a new level of my destiny. This is my year to accomplish dreams, to break free from this depression. This is my year to meet the right people. This is my year to get healthy and whole. This is your year to see double. This is your year for vindication, for restoration, for new beginnings. Now get your mind going in the right direction. In what you've done with your life thus far, is it giving you what you want? Is it giving you what you want? When you look toward the future, when you look at all that's going on out here, is there some place within yourself you say, hey, I know I need to be out there in that arena. I know I can do more than what I've been doing. I know there's some great music that I have within me that I haven't brought out here yet. Is that something that you begin to look at within yourself? See, I say if you look at your life, and if, and if you're not getting what you want, you owe it to yourself to do something differently. You owe, if you're on a job, 85% they say, of Americans go to jobs, but they're unhappy. If you're doing something eight hours a day that you don't like, it's not giving you what you want, it's not giving you a strong feeling of satisfaction and fulfillment, you're miserable, you hate to go there, you're depressed just thinking about it, you're saying the thank God it's Friday song every week. If that's what it is, you owe it to yourself to start strategically working to change directions. See, but you know what most people will do? Most people will resist change. Most people will fight change as if change would be worse than what they're experiencing. See, they know this. They're familiar with this. Most people will not challenge the unknown. They won't just step out there. See, they, well, see, there are certain things that's got to be in place. They've got to see it all together. And life isn't like that. That's not how you grow. So as you look at your life, you're saying, I'm not getting what I want. As you begin to look toward the future, begin to know that whatever it takes for you to create that, you've got that in you. You got that. You've got genius in you. You've got goodness in you. You've got creativeness in you. If you decide to take the initiative to change the current quality of your life, I say to you that you will find that the universe is on your side. That life is on your side. Now, will it be turbulent? Yes. Will it be easy? No, no. Will you have some opposition? Yes. Will I make a lot of mistakes? Yes. Will I get hurt? Yes. Yes. See, a lot of people won't try anything different in life because they don't want to get hurt. Let me tell you something. It's too much pain to duck. Pain is everywhere. You can hide under here. It will come where you are. It's everywhere. Victor Frankl calls it unavoidable suffering. You can't duck it. But most people spend their life not wanting to deal with the pain of rejection, the pain of defeat, the pain of being disappointed, the pain of losing, the pain of failure, the pain of being criticized, the pain of not being liked, the pain, the pain, the pain. That's called life. Life is full of pain. It's everywhere. But guess what? There's no gain without pain. And here's what I want to say to you. For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. All the big decisions in your life, I don't believe come from just making a list and comparing, but from going with the one that feels right.
for you that is coming from the heart that you have that emotional passion to. There is no difference between my humanness and your humanness. The only thing is if you're trying to get there, you cannot stop believing in any way. No matter what anybody says, no matter what anybody tells you, you have to know it beyond knowing it. So people want to know what you stand for and that your values are aligned. And if they can understand that, then they're much more likely to buy from you. You will fail at some point in your life, accept it. You will lose, you will embarrass yourself, you will suck at something. Appreciate beauty, to find the best in others, and to leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, or a garden patch, or a redeemed social condition. To know that even one life has been easier than you have lived, this is to have succeeded. Find yourself something you're good at and do it to perfection. Something you enjoy. And if you do that, I can promise you, as I have over the past 30 some odd years, you won't feel as you've gone to work a day in your life. Because there comes a time in your life where you've worked and you've stressed and you tried to get there and you couldn't on your own, but you have a dream. And that dream has to take on the belief for you because you can't do it by yourself. I want to make sure that every single day that you are alive, that you make it count and you take the sweeter choices of life that God has given you. Because I want to ask you right now, if this was your last 30 seconds to breathe, how would you be remembered? Only because you think you're here forever, you can forget about it. It doesn't matter what you think. You think you come to the top, you think you're going to go home, you think you're going to this place or that place. But as far as your body is concerned, it is walking straight to the grave. You, you can never ask people to, to, to forget, but they can forgive and move on. And I think you can always uh, learn from the experience, uh, try to understand what, uh, you know, what your purpose is and, and why that has happened and of course, always be positive. Maybe you have doubt in your life. Maybe you don't know for sure what's going to be happening in the future and it scares you. Maybe, about, you. maybe you're worried about what people think of you, what people say about you. If you want to be truly successful, you must be able to see everything just the way it is, without distortions. If you can see everything just the way it is, life becomes a play. You can play it joyfully, you can play it well, for sure. If they can do it, I can do it. And that's the mentality. If somebody else can do it, you can do it. And I said to myself, I will do it and I will do it better. That's the mentality. And I believe with the mentality is 50% of the success in what you're doing. That the reason I'm here is I dreamed big dreams. I dreamed the kind of dreams that other people said would not be possible. I'm also living proof. This isn't a Hollywood movie. I come literally from the other side of the tracks. If you saw where I grew up, and we took a picture of it, the neighborhood, the setting. You say it's not, it's impossible that someone could come from there and get here. But it is possible. And not to sound too trite, if you dream big and surround yourself with great people and leave your ego at the door and share success with others and have a little luck along the way, you can do anything. But there will be people along the way, and I remember this, who will say to you, you know, you're dreaming too big. It's not possible. Those things just can't happen. 
Don't allow anyone, friend, family, acquaintance, teachers, whoever it is, don't allow anyone to tell you that what you are dreaming for yourself and your family is not possible. It is possible. Don't be one of those people 20 years from now are going to be walking around in a 9 to 5 job miserable and angry and bitter because you let your dreams get away from you because you did not believe strongly enough in yourself and what was possible. Don't allow that to happen. And I can't encourage you enough to continue to think that things are possible and that your dreams can come true. And as it relates to finding your calling, it has to be linked to something that you are so passionate and crazed about that you're willing to knock down walls and climb mountains and do the things that are going to put yourself in a position of sacrificing so many other things for its success. And you can only do that when there's a compelling underlying feeling that you have that this is something I'm going to fight to the death for. And I think you can't really succeed at the levels that you want to unless you find that thing that you're so passionate, excited, and in love with. And I think because you've got it along the way, you're going to have to convince so many other people to believe in you and the idea and the opportunity and the struggle and the obstacles that are going to come can over, only be overcome by this passion that you have in which you're going to be able to get people to follow you uh, over, the, over those hurdles. I know it sounds a little bit sophomoric, but it's so true. Dream big. And then dream bigger. When you know within yourself that there's something you want to do, and I believe that all of us were born with a purpose, that all of us have something that we are supposed to do, that all of us have some goodness within us, and that goodness gives us a responsibility to manifest our greatness. And when you know that, you can feel it in your guts, and you know that you're deliberately operating below your potential, you've gotten comfortable, you stop expanding, you stop stretching, you stop challenging yourself. Let me share something else with you. Not only is it possible for you to have your dream, but it's necessary. It's necessary that you have it, that you work on it, that you develop yourself, that you go for what is yours in the universe. You decide, I'm not going to settle for this. This is not going to be it for my life. I deserve more than this. See, that will start making you do some stuff. See, a lot of people go to work every day miserable, and all they do is just talk about how miserable they are. But they don't do anything about it. You must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. It's possible that we can have our dream. Yes, it is. Other people have done it, then we can do it. We fail a lot of times. Well, a lot of other folks fail. And eventually they came back and they succeeded. So it's possible we can have what we want. And we know that we want to get it. It's necessary that we align ourselves with people that think like we do. It's necessary we get negative, do-nothing people out of our lives. It's necessary we never stop learning and growing and developing ourselves. It's necessary that we never get... You got a dream. You got to protect it. I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. But here's what I know. That that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. See, sometimes we can't say, I can do that. But what we can say, that it's possible that I can have my dream as we run toward it, as we work on it day in and day out. No one, ladies and gentlemen, could have convinced me when I started out just over six years ago working on my dream. And I want you to think about whatever your dream is. Because I was willing to take a chance, and most people won't do that. Most of the people that you talk to to try and bring them into the business, these are not risk takers. Most people have done all that they're ever going to do. They raise a family, they earn a living, and then they die. But people who are running toward their dreams, life has a special kind of meaning. And here's what I will share with you. 
that in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain, a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. But in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. What you will realize is that you have greatness within you. What you'll realize is that you're more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine. What you will realize is that you are greater than your circumstances, that you don't have to go through life being a victim. But not only is it important that you believe and begin to know that it's possible for you to live your dream as you run toward it, but it's necessary that you work on yourself, that you develop yourself. It's necessary that you get the energy drainers out of your life. People who don't want anything. People who are not striving. People who are not challenging themselves. People who aren't growing. People who have stopped dreaming. It's necessary that you align yourself with people and attract people into your business who are hungry. People who are unstoppable and unreasonable. People who are refusing to leave life just as it is and who want more. My mother used to say, birds of a feather flock together. If you run around with losers, you will end up a loser. It's necessary that you get the losers out of your life if you want to live your dream. It's necessary to know that everybody won't see it, that everybody won't join you, that everybody won't have the vision. It's necessary to know that. That a lot of people like to complain, but they don't want to do anything about their situation. That you are an uncommon breed. You know, you have to know within yourself that I can do this. Even if no one else sees it for me, I must see it for myself. That's necessary. It's also, ladies and gentlemen, necessary that you be creative when you're working on your ideas. That you understand the importance of, of changing up of readjusting your strategies. Many times we can have a great idea, but if you're not advancing it in the right way and things don't happen, you become discouraged and think the idea doesn't work. No, that's not true. That is you. That is you. That no one can do it for you but you. And even though you face disappointments, even though you will experience some setbacks, it goes with the territory. You must understand that. What if all of us took that attitude after we face a rejection and a no or we have a meeting and no one shows up or somebody say you can count on me and they don't come through. What if we have that kind of attitude, the cause repossessed, nobody believes in you, you've lost again and again and again, the lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and say to yourself, it's not over until